Thanks for joining us here on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burley. And long lines in London today. Mourners waiting upwards of 30 hours to see even a glimpse of the late queen lying in state at Westminster Hall. Some camping out overnight. And less than a week after her death, the new king under scrutiny. 100 staff members from King Charles' former residence could lose their jobs as he moves to Buckingham Palace. A union calling the decision heartless. So joining us now is royal commentator Hillary Ford, which Hillary, thanks for being with us. You know, the new king is now under fire for telling dozens of his staffers they could could lose their jobs. Is is this the timing of this maybe a bad look? I mean, obviously he is grieving, but well, thank you for having me. Uh, actually, it's like a two-edged sword here, isn't it? Uh, they're damned if they do, and they're damned if they don't. Well, there are those, and he has said that he wanted to streamline and slim down the monarchy. So on the one hand, you know, people complain about the monarchy costing so much. And on the other hand, as you just so aptly and rightly said, these are people's jobs. Everybody you see doing everything, it's a job for a person. If I might quote, actually, although it's sort of historical, light historical fiction, Downton Abbey, was historically accurate in terms of the times and Lord Grantham actually says to his young future son-in-law who wants to cut the staff everyone has their place and they take pride in their place so a couple of things here first of all it's Clarence house that's where he currently lives and yes there's an extensive staff that have jobs there but when people are asked across the entire United Kingdom, you know, whether you want a monarchy or not, um, those that say no, and there are some that say no, although the Queen always enjoyed an over an 80% approval rating, they say no about, oh, and probably thinking of the cost. Do you know the cost to the average, to every single taxpayer, the average cost per year is a dollar fifty a year for the royal family per person. But he's trying to make sure that he keeps costs streamlined. You know, the new king also facing more criticism for a few videos that have gone viral, uh, including that one that shows him visibly frustrated over a pen. But again, you know, is that criticism fair considering, you know, he just became the, the, the king and, and again, he just lost his mother. Yeah, absolutely. You're totally right. It's both things. I mean, I think that, don't forget, you know, he is 73. He spent 70 years in an apprenticeship since he was three years old when his mother was coronated. But a few things here. Yes, he's under he's under immense strain. Let's think about the kind of role he has. And an analogy would be an ER doctor or surgeon when someone comes in and everything's happening in that moment. He's trying to do everything at one time. You know, certainly, you know, there are presidents of age who, who make some mistakes. I mean, people do. And we're all human. Human beings, I think this is a very intense time for him. Also, he's right. working immensely hard. Don't forget, he hasn't stopped since he was by his beloved mother's bedside, basically, except for just a few minor hours sleep, has been in Scotland, has been in Northern Ireland. So it's a lot. All right. And the cameras are always, always on him. We also have to remember that. Um, but there are questions about Prince Andrew and his duties. There, there are some reports suggesting uh, the new king has picked uh, Prince Andrew to be a sort of deputy king. Well, actually, what that is, it's the 1937, it's called the Regency Act. What that is, is that the monarch um, and has a Regency Council, which is usually made up of the monarch's spouse and any up to four dis, um, direct descendants. So actually, um, you know, Prince Harry is still one of those councillors of state. Uh, obviously, the, the um, Queen Consort is, and Prince William, of course, is. Actually, Princess Anne isn't right now, and she's one of the hardest working royals. Uh, but that's because when those rules were made back in 1937, women didn't hold, hold those kind of roles. But you're right, Prince Andrew is still one of those councillors of state. That doesn't mean to say he's a deputy king. It doesn't mean there's no prescription as to what he'll be doing. But you're right, he is one of those councillors of state. And there have been a lot of moves, actually, and a lot of discussion ever since the scandals as to what on earth to do with him and Prince Harry, who wanted to leave the royal family. Right. All right, Hillary Ford, which thank you so much. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.